Okay, so I've had a bunch of questions about how uh, the toString method works, and so I wanted to just show you a quick demo. Um, right here I've got the Music Organizer project open. Um, this is from Chapter 4. This is Music Organizer version 1. I also have the Auction project open, also um, version. Uh, well, no, I guess there's only one version of it. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, if I start with the raw Music Organizer um, Oh, let me just actually let's remove uh, let's remove the subject so it's raw. Okay, so I'm starting from scratch. Okay, so if I start with the music organizer project um, as I've got here, and I right click and let's make a new music organizer and let's call it my org one. Well, let's just call it my org. Here's my organizer, um, and I can say something like system dot out dot println my org and it prints out this message on the terminal window that gives me the type of the object is a music organizer object and it gives me the address okay um, now that's not desperately useful um, if I add a file in here, so why don't we add the song Yellow Submarine by the Beatles. Um, and uh, I mean, I can inspect this and see that Yellow Submarine is in there. And I can run again and I just get the same message again um, I could let's see what was the method name it's add file I could add a file from here system dot oops I don't want system I want my org dot add file and I'm gonna add let's see we did yellow submarine so let's do help another Beatles song okay I add it if I look in here and we inspect. Now we've got two songs. But if I just print again, no changes, right? Um, same thing over here. If I create a new auction, and maybe I'll call it my auction. There's my auction. If I try to, let's see, what can you do with an auction? You can enter a lot. So let's enter a lot. My auction dot enter lot. I think I just need a string, which is the description. I'm selling a table. Let's see if that works. Awesome. And if I do system dot out dot println my auction, again, it just prints this as an object of type auction, and it gives us these weird numbers, which I think, don't hold me to it, probably are the address of that memory. Okay, and and for most people, this is not a very helpful thing to do when you print. And we can we can you know make the printout more interesting. Um, System dot out dot print Let me make this a little bit wider. My auction, and I'm going to concatenate that with squish it with um, UG. And now it just printed the auction. That whatever it prints for the auction object plus the word UG. Okay, pretty boring. What we're going to do is we are going to edit the music organizer code and I'm going to create a new method in here called toString. So let's call this public uh, returns a string toString. And toString always has to have this, um, uh, this signature. Okay. Um, and basically, <clears throat> whatever I return from here is going to get printed when we print an object. So if I say return, have a nice day, let's compile that, and go back into my music organizer and make a new music organizer. I'll well, we'll just call this music org one. And I say system.out.println music org one. Now it prints, have a nice day. So I got to choose what I wanted to get printed um, when I print, when I send to print a uh, music organ. The way I did that was by editing the to string class. Now we can make this a little bit more interesting. We could, we could, um, 
we could return a super long string. So for example, let's see, let's make a string long string and we'll start out with this music organizer oh, let's make it all one music organizer object has um, and then I'm going to squish this wet with um, the number of files I have so I believe there you go we have an array list of strings called files so I can do long string gets long string plus and we'll squish that oops I better put a space in there we'll squish that together with um, files dot size so we'll get the number and we'll squish that with the string uh, music files um, and maybe I want to, well, let's just try that for starters. So I will return long string. And now let's run this. So make a new music organizer. And if I system.out.println music org one, it says, can you read this? This music organizer object has zero music files. All right, let's add a couple of files. Let's add yellow submarine. And I will, well, let's add it in here. Why not? Music org one dot add. Add file, right? Help. Cool. And now let's system dot out dot println music org one. And it now prints this music organizer object has two music files. So we did that by just editing the to string method, right? And we can make to string do all sorts of things. So for example, if we stick a backslash n in there, backslash n means go to the next line. So if I compile this, I make a new music organizer and then let's print it. We get this music organizer object has zero music files because I had the backslash n, it moved it to the next line. Now that's not really very useful, but if we put backslash n here and then add on to long string plus equals, have a nice day. Right, plus equals just a shortcut for gets this plus this. Oops, I didn't put a semicolon. And now we make a new music organizer. And if I print that music org one, it says this music organizer object has zero music files. Have a nice day. And I did all that inside the to string method.